The federal government had every right to deploy federal security forces and use force in order to apprehend. Let's take a closer look at the man in question, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. Hailing from a humble background, Abi ascended to the zenith of Ethiopian politics, promising a new era of peace and prosperity. <laughs> Yet his tenure has been marred by controversy and conflict, leading many to question who he truly serves. The theory that's been whispered in hushed tones is that Abi is no more than a puppet. Not a puppet to another nation or a political ideology, but a puppet to the global elite. A pawn in a game that transcends national borders and political affiliations. A game that's been in play for centuries. But who are the puppeteers pulling the strings? The answer, some say, may be as old as time itself. Enter the reptilians. A race of ancient, shape-shifting humanoids who've been allegedly controlling human society from the shadows. These beings are said to be incredibly intelligent and powerful, with a thirst for human blood that they believe grants them eternal youth. They seem to be the stuff of science fiction, yet their presence has been suggested in countless cultures throughout history. So, how does Abi fit into this grand cosmic chessboard? The theory posits that Abi, under the influence of these reptilians, is orchestrating a series of events to ensure a steady supply of what these creatures crave most, human blood, his policies, his actions, all leading to a single chilling end to feed the reptilian overlords. Could our Prime Minister be a servant to these cold-blooded controllers? As we delve deeper into the unfolding narrative, we'll examine the evidence, the patterns, and the chilling possibilities that suggest that our world is not as it seems. Stay with us as we unravel the threads of this grand conspiracy, a tale of puppets and puppeteers, of power and its price. Since assuming power, Abi's actions have been ruthless and unrelenting. Let's take a closer look at his reign of terror. Abi Ahmed, as the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, has waged a relentless war against the Tigray and Amhara people, descendants of the Solomonic dynasty. A fierce onslaught that has left countless lives shattered, homes destroyed and a nation divided. The international community has not turned a blind eye to his actions. And observers, thank you for this opportunity to brief the Council on the work of the UN International Commission of Human Rights Experts on Ethiopia. Numerous human rights organizations have raised their voices against Abi, labeling his actions as gross human rights abuses. From forced displacements to extrajudicial killings, his crimes against humanity are glaring. But what drives Abi's bloodlust? Why does he seem so determined to spill the blood of Ethiopia's youth, especially those from the Solomonic lineage? The answer may lie in a chilling connection between Abi and the alleged reptilians. According to some theories, reptilians, these shape-shifting humanoid creatures, need regular infusions of human blood, especially those blood that comes from Solomonic blood lineage. In our case, the Tigray and Amhara peoples to maintain their youth and power. And it is believed that Abi has been providing them with a steady supply of this vital resource. A resource derived from the very heart of Ethiopia, its young and vibrant populace. This paints a disturbing picture, doesn't it? Are the lives of Ethiopia's youth being sacrificed to satiate the bloodlust of these ancient beings? Is the blood spilled in this brutal conflict not just a result of political power play, but a calculated move to fulfill the needs of these reptilians? The atrocities committed by AB, the relentless war, the human rights abuses, they all seem to align into a sinister pattern when viewed through the lens of this theory. The bloodshed doesn't seem senseless anymore. It seems purposeful, planned and driven by a dark, hidden agenda. Is the blood of Ethiopia's youth the fuel for these reptilian rituals? This chilling question lingers, casting a shadow of doubt over Abby's true intentions and stoking the flames of one of the most intriguing conspiracy theories of our time. Abby's policies have created a bleak future for Ethiopian youth. He has tinkered with the national exam, making it more challenging, and has manipulated the job market, making it harder for young people to find gainful employment. 
ያ ደግሞ 3.3 በመቶ ነበር ከተፈተኑት ውስጥ አጠቃላይ ያለፈው 3.3 በመቶ ነበር በ2015 ያለፉት በአጠቃላይ 27267 ኤንድ ከተፈተነው ተባሪ ከ50 በመቶ በላይ ያመጣው 3.2 በመቶ ብቻ ነው ሶ ሞር ኦር ሌስ ዘ ሴም በጣም በጣም ትንሽ these changes aren't just the result of poor policy making their deliberate calculated moves designed to make the youth more dependent on the government and what happens when you're dependent on someone or something you're at their mercy you're vulnerable you're open to manipulation and control now here's where our theory takes a darker turn what if this dependence isn't just a political strategy but a trap a trap designed to ensnare the youth in a deal with the reptilians a deal that promises a better life but delivers nothing but despair imagine the desperation of these young people driven into the hands of a government that doesn't have their best interests at heart offered a lifeline only to have it turn into a noose promised a better life only to be used as a source of nourishment for a race of ancient bloodthirsty beings are our young people being sacrificed for a better life that never comes abby's true intentions may not be in the interest of the ethiopian people this statement opens a pandora's box of possibilities that tie into the hushed whispers of conspiracy theorists around the globe the puppet strings of abi ahmed the prime minister of ethiopia may not be held by mere politicians or world leaders they may be in the hands of a race far more ancient far more sinister the reptilians it is suggested that abi's agenda is not centered around the prosperity of ethiopia but rather the service of these shape-shifting entities why else would he enact policies that seem to drain the vitality from his nation's youth or wage ruthless wars against his own people the answer could very well lie in the cold-blooded grip of the reptilians their alleged craving for human blood their supposed source of youth and power could be the driving force behind abi's ruthless actions but what can the ethiopian people do in the face of such a daunting conspiracy the answer is vigilance and skepticism they must question abi's actions his motivations his alliances they must not accept the narrative that is spoon fed to them by the government but rather seek out the truth for themselves in the end the ethiopian people must awaken to the possible reality of abi's true allegiance The future of Ethiopia may very well depend on their ability to see through the deception and uncover the truth. The connection between Abi Ahmed and the reptilians is chilling, but it's one we cannot ignore. We've traveled a path shrouded in shadows, a journey that has exposed a puppet leader, an ancient race of reptilians, and the heartbreaking sacrifice of Ethiopia's youth. The evidence is mounting, the suspicions growing. Abi's ruthless actions, the unexplained bloodlust, the manipulative tactics to ensnare the youth all point towards a sinister plot. This is not just about political power, it's about a game far more ancient, far more dangerous. So, dear Ethiopians, we urge you to remain vigilant. Question everything, the words of your leaders, the actions of your government, the stories that are woven to lull you into acceptance. Only through questioning can we hope to unveil the truth. Stand up Ethiopia question your leader for the future of our country may depend on it. 